Well, what's happening, everybody? Doing a little bit of work to this Kawasaki Z900 RS. And what we're doing here is removing the O2. That's right, removing the oxygen sensor because conspicuously absent is the ECU. The flash that this motorcycle is going to receive disables the O2, so no sense in having one on board. Actually running it without being active can damage the sensor anyway. So we're just gonna straight up remove it. Oh, by the way, speaking of removing, if you have one of the later Z900s, you may find that you've got these newer style latch connectors. I think some of the older ones may not have had this. It just had the standard push and uh, release connector. To get this thing to disconnect, you just push down right in the middle, right where my thumb was going, right here and right there. That'll pop this loose and allow this to rock backwards so that you can get this off of your ECU. You can't close it and the actual release and the lock to let it close is inside of there. So it's a little bit different connector. If you're not used to that, yeah, you're probably going to be wrestling with that for a while. So that's how you get those off. Again, just boop, pop right there and you'll be in good shape. Also, you'll notice these tabs right here. You may have to bend those out even when you cut your little rubber guys, the little things that hold on to here to wiggle it this way. You may still need to bend these out a little bit. At least I did so I could get fully released from that uh, rubber outside ca uh, case of that ECU. Uh, but also, I ended up having to disassemble or basically just unplug or whatever everything in here to get that thing to wiggle forward. Uh, it's not going to be as cut and dry as you may see in other how-to videos on the interwebs. Yeah, it ain't like that. Some of the newer bikes like this 23 can be a little bit of a bear. So yes, all of this has been unplugged unwhatevered so that you can get to everything in there okay so as you can see it's the middle plug there that you're going to be disconnecting and that will route you'll see how it's routed it goes back down behind the engine case to your o2 that piece of green tape that's just me breadcrumbing the wire so i could <laughs> make sure i was getting the right one the clip on this one, if it'll focus, the clip on this one, you actually lift up on to remove it. So anyway, there we go. Uh, anyway, that's kind of a top tip. It's not anything on the sides or anything like that. It's just one clip right here on top. You actually lift up and then pull and it'll pop right out. Oh yeah, and if you're gonna be working on stuff like this, get you one of these vlog style halo lights. It's all super compact. It all folds into itself. But man, this thing is the absolute best shop buddy when it comes to needing and putting lights right where you need it. Just top tip. All right, guys. So along with, well, removing that O2 because full exhaust is going on the bike, we've also removed the divider on the airbox. And we're going to be installing a K&N air filter. Here's the stock air filter for comparison. Stock air filter has got this wire mesh screen, more or less a paper style element. Everybody knows what's up with a K&N. Tough to beat this stuff. Uh, it looks like it's got a little bit more surface area in terms of actual filtering media however if you ever notice on a K&N there's a little bit of that black rubber that's affixing that filter media to the carcass itself so having that little bat wing added on there probably just evens out the surface area for flow uh, yeah another top tip if you're going to be doing this job guys get some hockey pucks or a two by four or something like that whatever you need to do just don't have this thing sitting right there on that nipple as you can see this will move around just fine underneath you just don't want to have the gas tank sitting on that nipple and this gas tank has got a decent amount of fuel in it too and ain't gonna leak it might dribble a little bit but don't sweat it little peek here into the inner workings of that air box your unequal length tubes here Basically, these are just intake runners if you're used to intake manifolds. So too short, too long. 
works out well for mid-range power. What a lot of guys will do is they'll drill the holes in the sides of this air box trying to get some more flow. Guys, that's a two by three and a half inch hole. And yes, it's actually radiused at the bottom. I've actually gone in here and just taken the sharp edge off of the ridge right here, but it is radiused at the bottom. If you work out the square centimeters, it's roughly the same as having a round throttle body that's about a 78 millimeter throttle body. It's in essence, plenty of airflow. The holes on the sides of the box really aren't gonna let it get any more cold air, mainly because if you look at where that would be located, it's not any different from where it was sitting before or where the air would be coming in from, I should say, from before. So. Don't worry so much about holes or opening any of that stuff up or anything else like that. Plenty of airflow. And again, it is radiused at the bottom. And from here, guys, there's not going to be a whole lot left to it to get this exhaust off the bike. Basically, it's about as simple as it looks. Unbolt the header. Unbolt one bolt, if you can see it, back in there. Probably best to remove the rear set which will, you know, you're just basically unbolting all of that and flaying it out to get to that one bolt that's tucked into there. And then that bolt there, that's going to be about all she wrote. The system's going to drop straight down. That'll be about it. You know, I'm not really one to complain, but one of the main reasons why I am doing this modification, aside from the fact it's going to sound amazing, is to get rid of this can down here. Why that is not flat black or something else just blows my mind. Anyway, it's the one thing that I just, uh, just drives me nuts about this bike. Well, we're about to solve that problem, but until then, that's what she's going to look like, fellas. Anyway, giving you guys an update, post up your comments, and that's a wrap.